When you speed up or slow down, your velocity changes in time. This is called acceleration. The average acceleration is defined as the change in velocity divided by the time interval. Notice that acceleration is a vector quantity with units of length divided by time squared. In the limit that the time interval goes to zero, the instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of velocity with time. Since velocity is the derivative of position with time, acceleration is also equal to the second derivative of position with time. Graphically, acceleration is the slope of a velocity time curve. For the case when the plot of the velocity with time is a straight line, is the acceleration zero, constant, or variable? Try again. Correct. Since the slope does not change, the acceleration is constant in this case. When motion is along one dimension and the acceleration is constant, a set of equations can be derived that defines the motion completely. The velocity is the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by the time. The position is the initial position plus the initial velocity multiplied by the time plus one half the acceleration multiplied by the time squared. The third equation is derived from the first two, eliminating time as a variable and relates velocity, acceleration, and position. To derive the velocity equation, recall that acceleration is the time derivative of velocity. Moving dt to the other side with a, integrate both sides. For constant acceleration, a moves in front of the integral. After integration, we can then solve for velocity. Velocity is the time derivative of position. Moving dt to the other side, integrate both sides to get the position. Note that the integration of the last term on the right gives you the one-half and time squared.